Good evening and welcome to the Milford Board of Selectmen meeting of July 16, 2018. First agenda item is the signing of the warrant. I move, Mr. Chairman, that we approve. And I would vote in favor of that as well. The second agenda item is approval of the minutes from June 25th. Approved, Mr. Chairman, or motion to approve. And I would accept that as well. Next agenda item is invitation to speak. Is anyone here for invitation to speak? Seeing no one, we'll move on to the next agenda item, which is the public hearings. There are no scheduled public hearings tonight. Uh, the next agenda item uh, will be the town administrator's report. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, three items tonight. One, the senior center building, as you know, it was damaged uh, by a motor vehicle in an accident. The repairs to the senior center are underway. Uh, most of the outside repairs have, in fact, been completed. Uh, inspection will be done by the building commissioner probably tomorrow. At that point, the interior work uh, will commence. Uh, and as the board knows, town council is pursuing a, a claim against the owner of the vehicle, uh, which caused the damage. So we hope to uh, have a recovery there. Uh, second item is the Central Street demolition. The uh, contractor, Brighter Horizons Environmental, has begun preparing for the demolition of the properties at 22 and 30 Central Street. Uh, fencing has been set up. All utility companies have been uh, contacted and utilities uh, shut off. Police details have been confirmed. Uh, there may be a need to block off four parking spaces. Uh, and uh, area uh, uh, business owners will be notified. Uh, the expectation is that the demolition will be completed within two weeks, hopefully shorter than that. Uh, final item, Mr. Chairman, is the uh, just an update on the LED street lights. Uh, the installation is ongoing. Uh, they've been doing it pretty much in evening and at night. Uh, 650 of the LED street lights have been installed. This would represent about 38% of the roughly 1,722 lights to be uh, converted. And I will continue to update the board uh, on the progress of that project. And that's all I have tonight, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Bill? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm glad you brought up the street lights for starters. Um, you know, I've been seeing some of the street lights, and I just want to say, fantastic job, Rick, is, because yeah. um, a few things are, are a result of the LED conversion uh, that I know you've been working hard on for months uh, to make sure that it gets implemented uh, with the grants and different things that are available. Um, but two, th two things. One, it makes sense because it uses less power. Right away, uh, cost savings to the taxpayers, uh, however modest, is still a cost savings. Um, the second thing is the lighting is twice as good. Right. It's, yeah. it's improved lighting. Yeah. Uh, the other yeah, lighting was dim, yellowed, uh, with new lenses and new LED lights. Um, uh, it's, it's a brighter, whiter light um, that uh, you know I think is much improved. So I just wanted to congratulate you on getting this process started. You championed this. You led it. You worked with the utilities. And, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you and great work. And, you know, I think the test works, right? So testing it made sense, too. I first wondered why we need to test it and why you would, you would schedule the testing mm -hmm. for it. But it makes sense because then you can make a determination of the improvement. Mm -hmm. So uh, great job. I've had an opportunity to see it, and I'm, I am impressed. Um, you know, if, if I might, Mr. Chairman, since we've we're skipping over uh, some of the items on the agenda because we don't have a full board because uh, Will was uh, Will's got a work commitment that he couldn't get out of uh, this evening, so we've rescheduled the appointments for HR. Um, I did want to talk about an item that has to do with town administrator's report and really uh, something he provided us in correspondence. And if I if might take take a little time, um, there are a number of things that. Uh, different board members have approached Rick about in terms of uh, selectman requests. And uh, to that end, I think it's incumbent upon the board to help Rick. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't know to what extent, every, every time somebody says they're going to help you, Rick, get ready. <laughs> uh, I don't know to what extent it's a help, but I do want to say this. Um, it's a good list. Um, this isn't a voted on list, but different things that different members have approached Rick with. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, items are things that we've talked about, 
LED street lights as an right. example. <clears throat> um, but, so, you know, I look at the task force, your, your, this is, a task force is always going to be ongoing, but the monthly meetings are being held, Munici uh, municity has been installed, emphasis on sharing uh, information. I know that the task force are going on, so I would just recommend that you close that, and if something else pops up, we'll address okay. it independently. Sure. It's always nice to draw a line through something. It's very nice, yes. Um, I would suggest in general that wherever there's ongoing that we look to a, a date because if it's if it's ongoing that means that the request isn't clear from us okay and so uh, let's see if we can get a date at least at least for the next update okay um, and I of course not helpful to be to you um, I think we should add something you're already working on, the teardown of the building uh, on Central Street. I, you know what? I thought I had put that on there, but you're right, I didn't. I may have missed it, too. No, so no, if it's no, there, I, I, I apologize. No, it's not. No, I can um, add that, yeah. And what I want to add to that is the process doesn't end when the buildings come down. We've got some site improvement that we need to do there. And so when we button it up temporarily, uh, it ought to look aesthetically pleasing. We've talked about We've this. We've talked in, about that. Town board. engineer has also, right? So, so what I would say is let's make that action item or that request the tear down. And, and I say site improvement, but I think you know what I mean, right. even if it's temporary. Correct. The yep. neighbors are entitled to yep. we can do that. not yep. just a knockdown building, but something that's aesthetically dressed up a little bit. Um, you know... There was a request out for DEP information, and uh, asked, we asked them to look into uh, any 21E, potential 21E issues. I don't know if any exist. I'm not saying that any exist. I know there were environmental concerns while the uh, Archer Rubber was there. Okay, yeah. Um, we had put out a request to find out if the DEP would look at that site. Um, I wonder if we could just get a follow-up. I will follow up. And yeah. just, and just, we ought to keep that site and that location in the center of town, uh, front and center. Now, the other thing I would recommend is that each of the board members that have talked to Rick about any of these items, give them a sense of priority one, priority two, priority yeah, three. Yeah, if I've missed anything, if there's something it, yeah, I, if I there's neglected miss. to put on there, I would appreciate a... Um, and, and like I said, the only real miss, Rick, is one that you're already working is yeah, you I, just gave an update on so yeah, it's, so it's you just failed to take credit for something you're in the middle of it's not on there, yeah. uh, so I'm not critical um, but if if we could because everything can't be priority one for uh, other you know it can't be Rick can't be Federal Express right? right priority one so we ought to give him some sense of you know target dates or if I could hear by December it's good enough and you know, give him a sense of uh, you know what's needed um, Rick I appreciate uh, this list this list is helpful and it also gives me a sense of some of the other things that the the selectmen are working on with you okay. independently okay. so thank you good list uh, helps keep us on track and yeah. um, I apologize but I just wanted to take no, some time while fine. the that's administrator fine. just gave that report right. uh, it was fresh in my mind so I wanted to talk to talk about that a little bit um, I think what's interesting is you speak to the LED lightings. We, last year, at the Imperial organization, redid all the lights. We're redoing again. Oh, really? Because there's another program out. The cost savings are so great. Uh, to And you should, if you ever get a chance, come in and see the service sure. departments. Yeah. It's like you're literally standing under yeah. a light. Yeah. You, you don't need drop lights. Yeah, I That's how great I've it had is. a number of it's, residents. It's the cost savings that you, you know, not only the safety, yeah. but it's also to what... Bill said it's the cost savings to the community. Yeah. I'm yeah. still expecting an energy savings. Yeah, we're getting energy also. savings and we're getting Hopefully. improved quality, yeah. uh, 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 that feeling of security in neighborhoods that's yeah. important to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, We've noticed a couple of other areas fantastic. that we might add also, so we're looking into a couple of commercial areas that we may. Yeah, well, yeah. the commercial the question folks of six, eight pay lights. a great deal of yeah. uh, tax so. in this uh, dual tax rate environment from, from Milford and uh, 
where businesses need to thrive and need lighting, we ought to address that. Right, right. And I as well, Rick, looked at your, uh, your list of requests here that you've been working on, and I was very impressed with it. Um, I was glad to see that the uh, empty lot at the Gibbs gas station was the Yes, I've had a full. Yep. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that I was driving home yesterday and I saw some activity there. I did speak with uh, so a representative I there. That yeah. There is something going on there. That'll, that'll be very, very helpful. Um, you and I have spoken about a couple of properties in town that need to have some follow-up. Yep. And I know that you will handle that as well. Um, um, to Bill's credit, Bill really worked with you on Wendy's, the drainage situation. I see that's on here. Yep. You know, we're keeping an eye on that so that people aren't crossing lanes of traffic. Um, the uh, repair to the senior center, I know, is starting this week. Correct? Yes, and we hope to start and complete right. this week. Yes. That'd be great. Yeah. 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 Hey, that was a close call. And yeah, anywhere right. we can impact safety, yeah. uh, that woman was nearly, our employee was nearly crushed yeah. right. by a vehicle that yeah. came through there. So yeah. uh, we're doing the right things when we prioritize safety. Absolutely. Okay. And with that, okay. the next, next agenda item is old business. Does anybody have any old business? Uh, I do have, um, Rick brought up, well, you want to address Actually, the yeah. item on there? The agenda item maybe first and yeah. then, yeah. Um, yeah, the uh, town council has given us some guidance with respect to remedial action on an open meeting law complaint uh, that's been filed. Um, and while the uh, while council believes what we did was appropriate um, out of an abundance of caution, um, I'd like to make a, a move to place the matter of Dennis Carroll's removal from the personnel board at, on a future board agenda uh, to remediate any potential concerns should there be any. And I would vote in favor of that as well. Unanimous. Rick, the only other, I'm sorry, do you have any other old business? Uh, no, no, none at all. Rick, the only yeah. other old business I have is the question of all the vans and stop and shop, the old stop and shop parking lot. Yes, we did look into that, and uh, Matt Marquardt is going to speak with where we think the vans are coming from. I think it's a business in the area where there is, um, they're using it as a... Uh, storage parking Not really a storage, but a... Uh, place to convene in the morning oh, okay. and the drivers come in park there and they load their trucks uh, there so we have uh, actually sent a letter to the owner of the property and I probably should have had that on my list I forgot but um, oh, that's okay. but that's okay. uh, we well, have we'll sent a letter out. to the owner of the property telling him he cannot do that it is a violation of our bylaws okay. yes yeah okay. yeah that's great and the only other thing I had and you've already answered it for me was the Gibbs gas station yes line, so. okay now, with respect to old business, uh, are you still looking for um, any uh, comments related to old business that, other than the one item on the agenda? I am not. Oh, okay. I, I'll. Uh, I had a couple of things. I oh, just go ahead. To bring I'm up. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Rick brought up the LED lighting. He uh, got ahead of me okay. when he gave his town administrator's report. I just wanted to congratulate him. Great work. Um, the other thing is, I got a note and I want to read from it. Uh, Saturday, June 21st, at 9.30 a.m., the Board of Selectmen have been invited to Prospect Heights Mayor's Association dedication of a neighborhood monument to Prospect Heights. And I just want to read from it. June or July? You said June. Uh, June 21st. Oh. July. You know, July 21st. You're right. Thank you. You're <laughs> and I said it twice, even. <laughs> Not only make a, a mistake once, say it twice. It is July 21st. Okay. And, um, you know, it was constu uh, constructed to help preserve the memory of the historic neighborhood. And we know that the Prospect Heights Mayor's Association does a lot of great things for the area and for the community. And uh, they're asking for our attendance. It would be appreciated. And, uh, you know, notes that they're very proud. Uh, of their organization and that they work tirelessly preserve the history and quality of this uh, this neighborhood and that's uh, from the mayors uh, and if you haven't had a chance to see it the dedication is a great opportunity uh, as you said on July 21st okay. uh, it's 930 a.m. Okay. so great work by the mayors association um, and maintaining that uh, 
that area and uh, dedicating that monument. Great work. Um, and that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Next agenda item is new business, and uh, we have a lot of gifts this evening. The first one is the acceptance of a gift from Benjamin Moore, 49 Summer Street, to the Milford Fire Department. Dear Chief Chewy, we greatly appreciate the service that the Milford Fire Department provides to the community, and we are pleased to provide the department with an enclosed first responder donation of $2,500. Please thank your team on behalf and keep up the great work. Thank you, Scott Kaplan, Distribution Center Manager, Benjamin Moore. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to get in the practice, uh, Mr. Chairman, where things like this are routine. $2,500 is significant on, on top of the taxes that are paid by the business. Mm -hmm. It means a commitment to the community. Uh, whenever we look for help for paint for uh, town hall, uh, there's always been help. Uh, this is a sizable don donation, and uh, I know you appreciate it, the board appreciates it, but I just wanted to call it out as uh, significant on top of the taxes paid. Very, very generous. They've always been a great partner in the community. They really yeah. have. The next is a donation from by Benjamin Moore. Did we vote on that, Mr. Chairman? Oh, oh a motion to accept, Mr. Chairman? I would vote. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, no, thank you Gene. <laughs> Okay, next is a gift again from Benjamin Moore to the Milford Police Department. Dear Chief O'Loughlin, we greatly appreciate the service that the Milford Police Department provides to the community and are pleased to provide the department with the enclosed first responder donation of $2,500. Please keep up the great work. Thank you, Scott Kaplan, Distribution Center Manager. Yeah, once again, it's a very generous donation and giving to both first responder groups, police and fire. Uh, very much appreciated. Motion. Uh, motion thank you. Uh, motion to accept. And I would vote in favor as well. The next item is more checks still coming in from the very wonderful Milford Fourth of July, July party. Um, anybody that was involved as we were realizes what a great event it was and how successful it was. In my opinion, the crowds were overwhelming. It was very nice to see all the families sitting on the sidewalks, the young children waving the American flag. It was very touching. So, first check in the amount of $1,000 was donated by Pins. Second check in the amount of $250 was donated by Medway Oil. The third check in name of Michael and Angela, please forgive me, Petruska for $50. That's right. And the fourth check, a step in time, $50. Um, thank you very much for your generosity for everybody for the first annual 4th of July parade. And uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve those gifts. And I would vote in favor of that as well. The next new business agenda item is just an update. This memo is to advise you that the Brighter Horizons Environmental Incorporated will commence the work to demolish the buildings at 22 and 30 Central Street on Monday, July 16th at 218. It is estimated the demolition will take seven days. Bright Horizons has requested, requested a waiver of the permit fees for the demolition. Yeah, that, that makes sense and for anybody who's um not sure about what exactly the action we're taking here. Um, that's municipal property that Brighter Horizons is reclaiming for us, knocking down buildings. And it frankly doesn't make sense to have them go get building fees to give it back to the town. And so when we waive those fees, those costs reduce the burden to the taxpayer. It doesn't make sense. And uh, I would make a motion to approve the request for a waiver of the permit fees associated with the demolition. And I would vote unanimous as well. <coughs> Next is a court request. My name is Ashley Norris. I'm a life scout with Troop 4 in Milford, and I'm doing an Eagle project for the Senior Center in Milford. I will be, I will be building a site side fence which requires a fence permit. I have submitted my building permit application to the building commissioner, Mr. Marcotte, and waiting for his signature. The permit has a fee, and I would like to propose the possibility of this fee being waived. 
What must I do to get on the agenda of the next Board of Selectmen meeting? What paperwork should I bring with me? Is there a form for requesting the waive of the fee? Yeah, certainly making a... Uh... Nice young man here, Mr. Chairman, if I might interject. Um and going to do a nice project for us, so it, it made sense that hopefully we could waive the yeah, fee. Waiving an Eagle Scout project man. for the Senior Center and fence makes sense, and uh, with that, I'd make a motion to waive those fees associated with that fence. And I would make that unanimous as well. And just a quick comment, having been at the Senior, I mean at the uh, Eagle Scout Award ceremony Saturday night, That's right. very touching. Yeah. yeah. Very touching. Okay, next request. We at the Milford Auto Mall would like to inform the town of Milford that we are currently switching from Perot Abaria Milford Auto Mall to Milford Auto Mall Incorporated as of the 1st of July 2018. Our license number is CL1118-20 and our employer identification number is 82-4508193. The president of Incorporated is Perot Abmaria and the Vice President is Andrea Almarasi. If there are any questions on this form needed by you, whoever, please feel free to contact us. So it's a transfer of license. I say not even a transfer, it's just, uh, just a new change name. a name. Change a name, yeah. yeah. So is there any action required? We uh, have to redo a certificate? Is there a Yeah, just a vote to, to approve the change of name. Okay. Yeah. Um, please. For the benefit of satisfying the requirements associated with the, their change of name to with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I vote to or motion to approve uh, that name change. I would vote in favor of that as well. And the last new business agenda item we have, dear selectmen, please consider this letter a formal request to organize a and run a 5K road race here in Milford on Saturday. October 20th, 2018. The money raised will be do donated to the Gan Revox Center located here in Milford. The Gan Revox Center is a charitable, nonprofit organization which provides housing, food, clothing, and basic needs and services for women and children and their pets. Our vision is to have the race start and end at Craft Roots Brewing at 4 Industrial Road. Craft Roots has generously agreed to host the start and finish at their location. The proposed route would be as follows. Starting in the Craft Roots parking lot, take a right on to Industrial Road from Craft Roots. At the end of Industrial Road, take a left on to Bird Street. From there, take a left on to Medway Road for 0.15 miles and then cross the street at the crosswalk onto the Upper Charles River bike trail. Once on the bike trail, the course will go to the gate before Beaver Street and then loop back, taking the same route to Craft Roots Brewery. Um, yeah, the, and then it comes along with a permit that's attached that has uh, the police chief's signature uh, discussed with them um, and the appropriate safety modifications have been made to the route. Um, so uh, I'm I have no concerns with it after the chief's signature and the adjustments, so I'd make a motion to approve. And I would vote in favor of that as well. And if I could just comment, again, I'd like to reach out to Craft Roots and say another way that they're so involved in the community, another, another great event, and they've done a lot of them. Okay, next agenda item is uh, correspondence in the first... Uh, Article of correspondence is the annual license establishment activity report. And I think in the past we don't have to read through this, it's just for our own information. Yeah, I think it has become something for our information. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing that pops up in, on my radar uh, that would, you know, there are things that are concerning. And uh, there are things that we've been, again, it's a repeat. Some of it is a repeat because it's an ongoing tally. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of these we've had the benefit of reviewing before. Uh, you know, just the, the comment I'm going to make is that it, it appears as though the businesses are cooperating, making the calls and calling in. So. Right. And I, I would agree with that. And I also am very impressed with the 
the way the police department responds to these calls. Yes. Very much so. The next agenda, uh, I'm sorry, the next item in correspondence is the uh, Veterans Department and Purple Hearts. On or about August of 2013, the Town of Milford received an invitation from the Military Order of Purple Heart to be considered as a Purple Heart Town. Milford accepted the invitation and was awarded the designation in March of 2014 at the Selectman's meeting. Since that time, a sign has been created that certain towns have attached to the town boundary sides. We would like to submit for your approval the following locations. Entering Milford from Holliston on Route 16. Entering Milford from Hopedale on Route 16 near Milford Hospital. Entering Milford from Hopedale 140 at Howard Street across from the Daily News. And entering Milford from Hoppington Route 85. If the above recommendations are approved, we will contact the Highway Department. Thank you. And you pack and you have pictures of where they Yeah, are. I've seen these in other communities. It's a great idea. And where we've already signed up, I think adding the signs just codifies it. So, um, yeah, I would make a motion to approve those. And I would make that unanimous as well. And if I could, I, I make a point whenever I see uh, anybody with a purple hat plate, without it being uncomfortable for them, I ask them how they got their purple hat and it's it's pretty amazing pretty amazing how uh, what these people go through to get this prestigious award and so I think it's just fitting that we would in the town of Milford after seeing the 4th of July parade that we would support something like that hey, mr. chairman I just have some uh, um, items to bring up that are just in general it could have been old business could have been new business sure. could have been but um, yeah I've received a uh, uh, a letter from a concerned resident about Goodrich Street and you know we've created uh, we put signs up and one of our votes was to uh, approve signs for uh, have the chief look at it and say hey can emergency vehicles get down this road it's a bit narrow and cars parked on both sides prevented emergency vehicles the chief agreed chief uh, I think the signs are up um, but somebody else uh, asked me to take a swing by so I did I drove by and uh, they asked me to look at the state of the road and the state of the road is deplorable mm -hmm. there are washouts uh, I know it's a short street um, but I wonder if we could contact uh, uh, highway surveyor and uh, see if he can bring some attention to Goodrich Court sure. um, yeah I was I was amazed I, I was actually when I looked at it I was surprised we hadn't heard about it and the, and the neighbors hadn't been vocal in the past. Okay. Nope. It was an easy drive after coming from town hall. Yeah. <laughs> it's right here. Right. Um, and let's see. Oh, I, you know, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, the uh, the folks who put on the Milford um, bandstand event. I know they're a group of volunteers. Um, we're fortunate enough to have music a big part of our history, culture, and tradition in Milford. I had the opportunity to be there with my uh, grandchildren, my daughter, my wife, and it was just a great time sitting on the grass, listening to a Beatles tribute band. Uh, that was actually very, very good. Um, but, you know, it reminded me of how the arts connect people and connect a community. And, you know, arts are a piece of our tradition and we've got so many people that are dedicated to the arts. I just wanted to, to congratulate Paul Serapine. If you haven't had a chance to get out to the Milford Bandstand, look at the dates in the newspaper. Uh, there is a website that tells where the dates are. Um, and Rick, do you know which website has those dates in case I anybody's interested? I don't, but I can check. I know there is one weather permitting tomorrow night. I don't know who's appearing, but yeah, I was uh, just talking to him beforehand. And is that something we put on our website to help them uh, communicate? Not to my arts? knowledge. I'd have to check, but not uh, to my knowledge. If nothing precludes us from doing it, I think we ought to because, you know, I think uh, town government in helping, uh, and we do a great deal to help the arts. We do a great deal to sponsor. We use the upstairs. Right. We renovate the upstairs. Uh, we're happy to sponsor and help them. Um, and we're doing it as a board, but really we're doing it on behalf of our taxpayers and our residents. Um, and they're, help, they're, they're, 
they're one of the things that helps connect us. So, um, you know, maybe maybe there's a place where we could, uh, you know, help sponsor local arts events that are happening uh, on our website. Uh, it doesn't seem like an inappropriate use of government resources, uh, provided they're, uh, you know, nonprofit. I think we have to, absolutely ought to. But again, the message is great job. Uh, it was great to see so many people out there with their families. And if you haven't had a chance, swing by. It's something to see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, no, those, those items were it. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Thank Chairman. You. And uh, we do not have an executive session tonight. So um, if nothing else, a motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. And I would vote in favor of that as well. Good night, everybody. Have a safe week and a great weekend coming up. Thank you.